Okay, so it's recording. All right, All so right. hey guys, um, welcome again to my YouTube channel and uh, welcome to another, well, daisy video, but also limitless now because I haven't haven't been um, recording videos for a while. I'll, uh, I'm definitely getting back to that. Um, so yeah, guys, so the, the new project um, has launched. Um, the Dubai event was awesome. Susan and Bren will touch a bit on that and, I'll, and obviously we're going to talk about the new project, but to everyone who... Um, to all my guys, you know, you are, who are um, still in days in that congratulations, you know, the crowdfunding phase phase is successfully complete. Um, we're moving on to the next phase, which is if I'm, if I'm um, not mistaken, which is the hedge fund model that, that they are pushing for getting all the licenses and stuff. Obviously they're allowing, which again, this wasn't even um, in the pipeline from the start. They just being really you, you know, nice, nice to the members, the, the obviously the option of withdrawing, that's what I'm talking about. So 7% um, of wallets have, have um, requested to withdraw. So um, yeah, they're giving us that option. Again, like all my videos, guys, I talked about, it's a crowdfunding equity crowdfunding model. So you actually not even at the, like a withdrawal is not even a thing. You, you know, it's um, you're kind of investing in a company, getting some equity shares and hoping, you know, the company succeeds but in this case you got way more than that um obviously with the trading rewards and that and and your your money is still being traded for you um so obviously for those who are who have requested to withdraw um you know once they get the licenses and stuff ready then um you'll let you know you'll you'll get get your money and those who are, are staying in obviously the trading will commence as usual um business as usual and it will improve especially when all the licensing and stuff is done then um you know it's just constant profits and it would you know it's just going to be really really good as usual we've only just gotten started so anyways enough about daisy um if you have any more questions about that just um you know pop some questions in the comment section below and uh, or just in the group whichever um but yeah no one no no one can join daisy anymore guys again it's 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 finished um the crowdfunding phase is finished so it's now the new phase so yeah let's talk about limitless um so let me just introduce you guys. As as usual, a lot of you guys know who this is already. Susan and Bren, um, basically my online business mentors. Uh, yeah, just uh, basically my uh, what are, yeah business partners in Daisy. Yeah, that's the right word. Business partners in uh, in Daisy. Yeah, they just helped me a lot. You know, so been known him for how long now? It's I think it's been a year and a half, two years. Probably yeah, two years yeah um just uh just the, like the best of the best um people so yeah uh so so they were you guys went to the dubai event i couldn't make it this year unfortunately hopefully i'll I'll be able to attend next year and um uh, share with us a little bit on how it was um obviously it was a bigger stadium this year uh so yeah what, what was the coca-cola stadium or some something like that in dubai like how many how many people attended there the, it was the in the Coca Cola Arena, and just over five thousand five hundred were in attendance. It was a Jeez. grand event. Great and, and the wow, and and the event before that was five hundred. Like, um, how many people attended the event before that? Well, the first event was five hundred people. The that was the first event. one. Yeah, five hundred, and then just under two thousand was the one last year. Yeah, that told you so. That that was the one I attended. Uh, mm -hmm. That was a really cool experience for me. So yeah, just from that, wow, you know, from the start to that's that's crazy. Um, you know, and I think Jeremy Roma he talked about that. He's like, you know, look at where we where we were to where we are now, and now tra transitioning into an even way bigger project. Um, and and I know a lot of you guys um have heard about it. Um you know, but you don't understand it yet because, um, but, but yeah, basically there's way more potential than, than, uh, Daisy, you know, the Indotech project, um, has, and, uh, it's just, it's, it's just something else, you know, um, but, but, but yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give the floor to Ren and Susan for a bit, um, and, um, share, like, just to share with us the whole event and, um, you know, what they found out there and yeah, floor is yours guys. Thanks for having us, Stephen. And, uh, and I think that's a great place to start um, the Limitless event in Dubai. We definitely enjoyed the event. In the first half of the event, it, it was unique because there was a turning point. Uh, the first half of the event was celebrating exactly what you were talking about, uh, DAISY. And it's the crowdfunding that we did for uh, within DAISY for Endotech was 
testing and development artificial intelligence trading fund, and it was extremely successful. Um, in fact, Bren is much better at sharing the numbers of how it literally broke global crowdfunding records. And it's uh, so successful that the fund itself, we all have the privilege of staying in. It's a long-term fund that's going to continue to grow into the future, which is another layer of success. So the first half of the event was celebrating that. And then there was the lunch break and transitioned into uh, really the launch pad and announcing what is the next project. So Bryn, do you want to dive into uh, the closing yeah. out of right. and Tech Daily? And just so that you know, right now there's $700 million sitting in live trading in that fund and it Daisy, the model paid out $109 million more than ever came in. So it was incredibly successful for members. The last three years, however, will look like a warm up compared to what's coming. So we were developing something and Daisy is now just about ready to get started. The last yeah. three years was development because it's crowdfunding. Now the product has been brought to fruition and will be carried into the future as a private hedge fund that can be licensed by other institutions. We get to reap the rewards of that. The yeah. first crowdfunding project was equity crowdfunding. So you got to own a piece of equity in the company that you were backing with your venture capital. This next model is known as revenue share crowdfunding. Some people call it royalty-based crowdfunding. So it's yeah. a, it's another way to tap into um, the growth of a company by putting forward your venture capital. So because of the success of the first crowdfunding project, we are able to attract something of such a high caliber like this next project, and it's called blockchain sports. The crowdfunding model itself has been rebranded to Limitless so that we have an all-encompassing name that isn't limited to just artificial intelligence, but anything we decide as a community to back with our capital and to bring to the market, it's something that uh, is generic enough and yet significant enough to label. And they put a lot of product. thought into Limitless and they wanted something uh, all encompassing, like Brent said, but also empowering because yeah. of the success that was created with the crowdfunding with Endotech, it has empowered well over 200,000 people already. And we're just getting started. So that's the rebranding. Yeah. So I mean, let's, I mean, if you're ready, Stephen, we can dive into you know, a high level 60 second overview of what this next crowdfunding yeah. project is. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm just uh, going to quickly say, um, something I forgot to uh, to add, just to clarify um, about uh, about the withdrawals for those who never like, because I know some people ask um, about about uh, like just what I said. I'm talking about the initial, just to uh, just to you know the your initial your your capital that you put in, right? Um, that I'm talking about withdrawing that. Obviously, you could always withdraw your profits. That that was always a thing. So I'm just I'm just uh, clarifying that with you know. <laughs> Uh, to to the people, uh, but yeah, a lot of the people, lot of the, know the people that, so. that want to exit and not reap the benefits of the future, if they they're free to leave, yeah. you know. But those that want to shares. take advantage of everything that has happened for the last three years, they're free to stay. Yeah, and, and good and point, is, Stephen. Just in case anybody didn't hear that clip that you said, anyone that chose to exit, which, as you mentioned in the beginning, is only seven percent of of uh, wallets. And some of those are people that had, you know, layers of wallets. So anyway, a small amount of people exiting with their, all of their initial contributions, but equity shares are still in place. Yeah. Yeah. So, so just, yeah, that's um, uh, just to clarify with you guys. And so, yeah, let's get into limitless. Um, and yeah. obviously like things like, cause people want to know now, well, obviously what's in it for them. You already gave them a clue revenue share um it's like basically in short it's you're you're investing into a company um the more uh, the more success the more success they you know more successful they are you know the better it is for you because um you know the more money they make the more you know money they can share with you because obviously you get a percentage um of the revenue that they make so and i mean this is like on a month well, i don't know how or probably going to be on a weekly or a yeah, monthly we basis yeah, yeah. We'll so go. We'll, all right we'll let me, let me give that. you guys the floor yeah 
That's the biggest difference is revenue share. And um, I'll, I'll just touch on a couple of high level things before we start diving into some of the details. And it's long-term revenue share and not just one stream, uh, depending on which level you come in, regardless, even at the base level, it's multiple streams of revenue or royalty sharing is the curate uh, label to give it because you're when you crowdfund, you're purchasing a founder's package and you become a brand partner, which opens you up to royalty shares of a percentage of the royalties as much as 50%, which is huge, and multiple streams. So this project has been, it's not a startup. It's been in development for 19 months with 30 million in private investment. In the last five weeks, we as a crowdfunding community have raised 59 million in crowdfunding, which is quite impressive. This yeah. project, uh, as Susan mentioned, they're sharing 40% yeah. of the net profit of their company with us. So one way that a company can stay in control is not give away too much equity yeah. so that they get to choose the direction of their company. So another way around that is to share net profit with us. So up to 50%, actually, as Susan said, of the net profit of the company is being shared to us as the crowd funders. Right now, we have a small window of opportunity until August 16 to own uh, some of the underlying foundation of this company that will reap us rewards in the digital world and in the real world. So let's take a step back and describe in simple terms what this is. What we are doing is disrupting the sports industry and democratizing it. All of the economic value, all of the value that's ever been created in the sports industry has been created by fans and been created by athletes. And all the people that capitalized on that was usually a small elite private group of people with large funds to invest. Here, we're given the masses the ability to connect fans and players in a way that's never been done before. So what's actually happening is that there's academies being built around the world that's using artificial intelligence technology to capture biomechanical performance of athletes. So they're wearing technology on their body that tracks everything, their endurance, speed that they run. All of that is being transparent and visible on the blockchain. So it's given honesty and transparency to an industry that has been somewhat of a monopoly and a lot of manipulation. So now athletes yeah. can sleep peacefully at night knowing that their belief in themselves and their performance can be seen by the whole world on the blockchain. Hard-coded. All of their data is hard-coded, not initially judged by coaches or scouts and put on a changeable spreadsheet or document. All of their metrics, all of their biometrics, all of their achievements are hard-coded on blockchain. So it's democratizing the sports. And we're starting with football, but it's scalable to other sports. So the entire plat the entire system, and we've just given you a couple ideas of it, it's all built on its own native blockchain with a native token, and it is uh, expandable and scalable far into the future because of how it's being built. And so you, should you decide to take action on this, will earn in the digital world and in the real world. So again, all these academies, franchise academies around the world with some incredibly influential football players with a reach of billions of people between them, they're backing this as ambassadors. So don't worry about the distribution. This is taken, that's care. taken care of. Billions of people are going to know about this. The word is already spreading. We'll get into that. But all of this data that's been captured in virtual reality, in the real world, in these academies, all of it needs data. You get paid whenever that data is needed, which is around the clock, 24-7. You get paid because you are owning a device that is going to bring into existence the token, the currency that this entire platform needs. Minting. Yeah, minting. So by owning that, the demand for that is going to be absolutely enormous. There's already, we're talking about a company and we can prove it to you, show you the certificates. It already has a certified valuation right now of $1.3 billion between uh, some of the technology that they have. And so 
very rarely do the masses get the ability to own a piece or to earn from a billion dollar company. The only time you get to do that is when everybody else already knows about it and it's been publicly traded. Yeah, very few people have their ear to the ground in Silicon Valley and are part of a venture capital firm and even get to hear about Airbnb or Uber or Lyft or whatever, PayPal, any of these companies in their early stages. So you get to get in at the ground floor of something that's it's going viral right now. We've backing from presidents of countries uh, that have the, are backing this. They just opened another academy in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil with the Minister of Sport of Brazil. They have alignments with the Global TV, Netflix, uh, Disney, even ESPN for distribution of a reality TV show of this. So everything that ever happens in the company, you earn from. 40, up to 40, 50 percent of the net profit. Now, as a crowd funder, you you are actually purchasing a hard asset. So you have you have ownership of the asset. It initially mints the only existing tokens for the first 18 months and then validates all the transactions on the blockchain, which is required for all of the multiple real world businesses and the digital processes which on the blockchain, which include its own native wallet, Explore, Dex, all of this, you don't even have to understand or know the details, but you're happy or like the information is out for anyone that wants to dive into all the details. But the point is you don't need to. As a crowdfunder, you have your package. It's completely passive and it's uh, very easy to understand user interface when you log in you will see your uh, profits. The digital rewards will be realized and paid out daily. And the royalties from the real world businesses will be reported uh, ongoing in real time and then paid out quarterly. Okay, so basically every three months uh, for the royalties yes. and daily for the digital rewards. In real Correct. time, yeah. Yeah. In real time, and maybe, okay, that's awesome. And an important thing to, to know, that just in case we dive into the details a little bit more while we're just being really uh, forthright about the be benefits, uh, there is an opportunity for a 100% rebate on your founder's package. So if that makes you curious, just note that and reach back out to Stephen to find out how to qualify for that potential 100% rebate. So let's talk about briefly, some of you may be watching this and you've gone, oh, another another blockchain project where you earn a token. No, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of projects where you earn a token, it's a single point of failure in that the token price has to do well, otherwise you don't do well. Here, you're, you're owning the architecture that's bringing into existence the token that's needed for everything. Yes. But it's not a single point of failure. If the token price does well, great. If it doesn't, we'll still do well because if it's when it's worth anything, because we're we're factoring the token and every transaction that needs to be validated, we earn more tokens. But set that aside. We're just using blockchain technology here finally for a real world use case a lot of the blo main blockchain we're not building on top of an existing blockchain we're building our own blockchain here it's already built if the token price does well great but the real world application of this all of the data that's been captured from all of the athletic performance on every sport not just not just um football but baseball moto gp everything that's coming all of it needs data all of it generates revenue with, in the real world from academies, from advertising with very big brands, all of that. It's like owning a piece of the company without having to run the company or without having to manage a thousand employees yourself. They already have over a thousand developers working on this. So you get to earn from everything that ever happens in the company through the net profit of the company. That's completely independent of the value, the token and the currency. So if you think of the blockchain like the country, Think of the token, the currency is what's being used and being exchanged on there. Everything that ever happens, every time it moves, you have the opportunity to earn and you own a piece of that underlying architecture. So again, 
look at all of the blockchains out there. Most of them don't have anything happening in the real world. They claim to have a new way that makes it faster transactions, whatever. Here, we have a real world use case that's going to create huge demand that already is creating huge demand. There's collaborations with existing uh, NFL football teams, the US Department of Defense. One of the technologies has been utilized by NASA this is the real deal, guys. This is a massive project. And once you reach out to Stephen for more information, you'll see that being outlaid in some of the videos, just what's happening. Oh, that's awesome. So a um, quick question that I can think of on uh, think of now is uh, like how we, or oh, sorry, when, when are we going to start getting paid like uh, the royalties or and the digital rewards? Um, so like what, what's the timeline looking like? And um yeah, but basically, what are we going to get paid out in um, in Atla? Because I know it's called Atla tokens. Yes, Atla tokens, um, and the blockchain is the Atleta blockchain. It's a Larry One blockchain. Yeah, and and I know. Well, I do know with the um, if you're an affiliate um, and you refer people, you get paid out in USDT, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So. Um, yeah, all so the that's digital basically... rewards, all the digital rewards will be earned in the Athleta token. All the real world rewards from the real world businesses will be earned in USDT. Okay, okay, cool. That, that's that's and that's and cool. as far as the royalties, it's it's a of course it's a moving target, but most of the initial ten um, verticals on the real world applications are ready to go. So depending on over the next few months, how things progress and move forward, but uh, there could be royalties as soon as August or September, but some of that is a moving target. So it's not a hard line as of yet, but it's, it's early and we'll definitely find out. And the digital rewards will start on launch. The, the hard launch starts uh, with the NFT marketplace and the blockchain and the initial infrastructure September 1st. So digital rewards will start in September. So right now there's academies around the world capturing the performance of these athletes. Their performance, their biomechanical performance, everything uh, is digitalized. So they create a digital ID of the athlete and their career. So essentially you have uh, an NFT, a digital version of the athlete's career and the retail market opens up in September. And so people will get to own a part of this player's career. They'll be able to financially back these athletes all the way to them getting a contract with different academies or clubs around the world. And there's a long, long waiting list and a white list of thousands of people waiting for that marketplace to launch. And it's very early, early uh, stages. So it's an incredible uh, foundation that's already in place for uh, yeah. full full on launch and everything to start. So at, at this point, before we dive into too many details, because I know Stephen, you you wanted initial benefits and initial what is it? Um, yeah. All of you can reach out to Stephen yeah. in the comments below or whatever for more details. But I wonder if Stephen, would you like us to talk about people behind the scenes? Um, who it is yeah, because that, sometimes that's the most difficult part of the story to share yet ultimately the most vital yeah yeah okay yeah because that's very important because uh, like for, for me obviously knowing at least that that uh, like guys like Jeremy Roma Edward Kim Chan and the other guy I keep forgetting his name this Ilya Manon yeah yeah Ilya yeah um, the fact that 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 they're involved and they own limitless as far as i understand um was, they are um, the founders of limitless the community yeah, yeah. is yeah is, is already good enough for me I, I met them in person you know you know like very very cool you know very very nice nice people and very uh honest and um you know like like the very few legitimate people in this industry like um that that are you know actually actually do what they say and, and deliver. And um, like I said, I saw that with Daisy. So we already know that, that they're trustworthy. Um, so you, if, so they obviously going to only work with the best people as well. Like, you know, in Endotech, they work with Dr. Anna Becker and um, yeah, it was just a huge success. So, um, but yeah, besides, besides Jeremy and them, um, you, you know, like uh, who, who else, like who's 
uh, like the other big players, obviously. Yeah, floor is yours. Share it. You guys can share that with us. So excellent. Um, so blockchain sports, the ecosystem, the vision. Who's who? Who is it? Who's behind that? We had the opportunity to initially meet Dmitry Sazanov, who is the visionary founder of um, blockchain sports ecosystem, CEO, and he's got a, a long list of previous successes. Uh, before that, including Adam Mining. And we met him a year ago. We're, we're still here in Dubai after the Limitless event now, but a year ago here in Dubai after the um, Told You So event, we went to uh, Blockchain life. World or Life? Life. Blockchain Life. And they had a booth for uh, Adam Mining. And we spent a good hour and a half or two hours speaking with Dimitri and his team. We also met his COO, uh, Artem, which we can talk about him, and um, Alex, who is the business, uh, the lead business management. And then since then, we've had multiple other opportunities to spend time with them, converse with them. They invited us, uh, as we mentioned earlier, or maybe that was in our pre-recording conversation, to Fortaleza, Brazil. We got taken out for a tour of the initial Brazil Academy at Acapera. So we've spent some up close uh, personal time with them. And uh, Bren, do you want to talk about their the team that they have in place and oh, anything yeah, one, more you'd like to add? One of the great things about Dimitri is um, he's very good at attracting the best of the best when it comes to talent. As in He's the visionary. He is the visionary, but he know, he understands the importance of teamwork. He understands about the collective collaborative efforts to bring a vision this big to the world. And actually, Artem, the COO, just yesterday sent us, yeah. uh, personally sent myself and Susan some video footage of him touring one of their offices, you know, with the, some of the different departments behind graphic design and everything. They have over a thousand people working for them now, and you can see it with the quality of their content. They've just secured the third physical location, the third physical academy in uh, in Brazil. But while we were there in Brazil too, we got to go to uh, the Blockchain Sports Summit where there was a lot of government officials, members from FIFA, a lot of very influential people and coaches from around Brazil. So we got to hear directly from them on stage and some top of the top legendary footballers that were top goal scorers in you know, the World Cup throughout the 80s and 90s who were behind this project. Because there's almost a philanthropic aspect to it where the blockchain sports is going to parts of countries that may be more impoverished, that FIFA would never go. Finding young, talented kids that... In a place like Brazil, it's so interwoven in the culture, it's their only way out of poverty is to become a professional athlete for them and their family. And so it's almost like philanthropic too, what's being done. And that's why everyone from governments is opening their doors with welcoming this project with open arms, because the government of Brazil literally opened up access to every football pitch in Brazil to help them find talent. And the reason why this is is happening or a core reason is uh, Dimitri, who he is as a person. So, yes, he's the visionary. He's the founder. He's the CEO of the blockchain sports ecosystem. As Bren mentioned, he has the he has the no the knowledge and the experience to know that you have to create a team in order to level up like this. But it's it's how he does it and the respect that he is able to attain by doing this. So what was a really cool experience for us that the only way we can parlay that to all of you listening here is we've seen him behind the scene, who he is behind the scenes in private one-on-one uh, -on -one conversations with us is who you see at the public summit uh, in Brazil when we were at it. Uh, if you even if you just observe his Instagram, you know how some people's public social media is completely different than when you happen to see them in person, yeah. or it looks more fabricated. When you uh, have a look at his Instagram or the blockchain sports in Instagram, you see where he is right now. For example, just outside of Rio de Janeiro at one of the new academies that Bren was just mentioned, he's with the football legends that 
are a part of this. He's with the young athletes. He's with the active uh, football uh, players on the active teams right now within the academy. He's out Just there in the field with everyone, yeah. building the relationships, attracting uh, new thought leaders and team members and players. And also because of the caliber of the team and their expertise, they literally have the best of the best in the world when it comes to blockchain. Blockchain. If you've heard from Andre, who is yeah. the, the architect, yeah. the mind behind this blockchain, he's worked on so many huge projects in the blockchain space. But um, also the collaborations that's happening here, like Dr. Eric Naputi uh, behind Inner Athlete. That's again, the path. It is 91 patents. That's the technology that's capturing this athletic performance data, uploading it to the blockchain. I mean, that guy alone and that company is the, the phone is off the hook. Be, the word's getting out, and there's sports teams, basketball teams, baseball teams looking to get exclusive access to this. But Dr. Eric Naputi is in alignment with the vision of Limitless, which is to democratize this and make it ex globally accessible, this technology, to create a level playing field for all countries to be able to use it. And uh, yes. that alone is worth billions of dollars. That technology, once you dive into it, what's been done there is absolutely incredible. There's, He's done 30 you know. years. Uh, his th This has been his area of expertise of 30 years as a medical do doctor, scientist, um, and, and exploring, developing new technologies. And now he's bringing this to fruition and really locking it in with blockchain sports. So even Dr. Eric Naputi himself, who we also had the pleasure of meeting, is stepping in with his connections. Well, no, that's, I mean, that's really, really awesome. Um, so yeah, guys, I think, uh, especially like you guys have another meeting to attend. Well, me also, I'm also going to like, uh, join that. That's, join us. Uh, yeah, <laughs> because it's, I mean, it's just mind blowing stuff. It is so, mind blowing. But in, in summary, if you take action between now and August 16th, you get to earn from everything we just said. Ever, you don't have to understand how it works necessarily, but you've earned from everything that ever happens, every sport, every athlete. You're not the one that has to pick. You don't have to be an expert in sports and pick which athlete and own a bit of his career. You get to earn from everything that ever happens. If the value of a player goes through the roof, there was one footballer that we met in person at dinner in Brazil that has a reach of 60 million people on social media. Imagine... Imagine it's Jeez. October later this year, and he says, you know what, guys, I think this kid in Brazil has a ton of talent. You should go over to the NFT marketplace and, you know, own a part of his. What do you think is going to happen? There's going to be a bidding war with hundreds of thousands of people buying and selling, buying and selling massive transactional volume. The valuation of this yes. player, his digital yes. ID on the blockchain goes through the roof. All of that transactional volume you're there earning from, you wake up to... 10 times you earn 10 times more today than you did yesterday you're wondering why and it's because all of this distribution is happening while you sleep so the influence that's behind this guys that's what's going to make a difference to any other blockchain or any other token that's out there because it has a real use case that's actually needed but also if you look at the people and the influential public figures that are behind this and the reach they have on social media it's insane. There's going to be such an influx when it hits the retail market. But now you get the opportunity to strategically position yourself to capitalize on everything that happens. Is that a summary? <laughs> My summaries are long. It, 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 you, you get know, to finish. There's so much so to share. Explore so it's and like, decide. Um, yeah, um, but anyways, Sorry, yeah, it's no, no, that's, that's I mean, just the, the thought of it. I mean, this is this is so, so huge. I mean, because we didn't think anything would be bigger or better than Daisy, and then this comes along. Right. This is just it is. ten yeah. times more potential, really. And um, like, like I guess also a simple explanation would be like um, again is imagine uh having shares in McDonald's when when it just started out, and you you, you know you're still, I, I mean if you had shares fifty years ago you'd still and you still have the same shares you're still getting royal royalties from that you're still getting paid a percentage of whatever you own and it's it's the same year it's like we have the same kind of revenue share 
we we're getting that here and and this this is going to be be going on for years and years and years and years you know like because, the only I mean, person absolutely. the only person jeff bezos could raise money from was his mother and dad mother and father you know I yeah think his dad yeah. and the amount you know the amount of people he called even met with the ceo the founder of barnes and noble the book physical bookstore but within within four weeks uh, of launching one of the first websites on the internet you know it went through the roof i, I think i think the parents had a return an roi of four million percent or something like that you know <laughs> that's 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 just I crazy love- and I love where you went with the analogy, Stephen. So if we if we could line up a, a few, as well as McDonald's and Bren mentioned Amazon, uh, Uber. Yeah. So what is the same with all of those? Uh, McDonald's was uh, creating a new category within an already existing category. People love fast food and people love burgers and fries. Um, Amazon, uh, people were going to read. So he had an idea to create an online bookstore. And then it turned into its what it what it is it's a massive online shopping right people are always going to shop so if you create a new category within an already existing guaranteed audience then if you do it right it's going to succeed uber people are always going to need rides and they're going to pay for rides so create a a new category within a category the taxi industry and so it wasn't something new where people would have to necessarily change their core habits, just a few small details, and it succeeded. We have something very similar to that here. The football is one of the largest global sports. There's always going to be football. There's going to be athletes that need support, facilitated, coached, scouts to find them, academies to uh, create their growth. They're going to be traded, and there's going to be massive fans. So the category, the industry itself will continue, but we yeah. are creating a new category within an already existing category. So the success has a huge potential, a huge probability, and the way it's being built with the people that are taking part of it is incredible. So all of you listening have an opportunity to create multiple streams of income with one decision. What's it going to be? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, I think yeah, we should um wrap this up. I mean, that was really awesome. So, yeah, I was gonna use one more analogy, like, like imagine um, in, like making making us even if it's a small percentage off of every single burger that McDonald's sells <laughs> for the rest of your life. I mean, that's crazy, but yeah. yeah. So, that's just to to put it very simply. This is what this is, and um, yeah, no, well. It's up to up to you guys from here. I mean, you you can um, reach out to me either in the comment section or um, well, I still have my Daisy group. I'll probably create a new limitless group, but for now, you can just uh, join in the Daisy group. The link is below. It's a um, link to a Telegram group, and then you can ask questions there. My phone number is also below. But but please, guys, don't call me. Just send me a message on WhatsApp or Telegram first. You know, introduce yourself um, because I get the messages from scammers and all kinds of sort of sorts of people. So yeah, just um uh yeah just send me a message and introduce yourself and, and you know what what you're there for you know get get to the point i'd appreciate that from the start so all right guys um to susan and bren uh, as usual thanks a lot for your time uh that was it's really awesome and you guys really explained it really well so the rest is up to you guys so um don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel um and as usual have a good one and uh, see you guys on the other side cheers <laughs> right